and welcome to our day 12 coverage of the 50th U.S. Open. We have our first final of the tournament coming up in just a couple of hours. That will be the men's doubles final. And you see two of the finalists right here on the court, Mike Bryant and Jack Sock. Sock, of course, one of the top-ranked American singles players as well. Mike Bryan, one of the greatest doubles players of all time. Of course, has won so many Grand Slams with his twin brother Bob. Bob out with a hip injury and thus Mike is playing with the young American Jack Sock. They'll be facing off against number seven seeds Lucas Kuba of Poland and Marcelo Melo of Brazil, a very talented doubles team as well. This is a first time meeting between the last two Wimbledon champions in those two teams. Mike Bryan and Jack Sock are trying to become the first team to win both Wimbledon and the U.S. Open in the same year since Jonas Bjorkman and Todd Woodbridge in 2003. Mike Bryan, still the number one ranked doubles player in the world. A 17-time Grand Slam doubles champion. Of course, he has a career Grand Slam in doubles. He has the record for most Grand Slam, uh, or total most doubles titles, I should say, with 118. Third in the overall number of men's titles in the Open Era. He's won every single one of those 118 titles, except for three, with his twin brother, Bob. Won one title with Mahesh Bhupathi, one with Mark Knowles, and one, of course, Wimbledon this year with Jack Sock. But 115 titles for the Bryan brothers together. That is unprecedented, too. Truly one of the great teams in tennis history. Of course, they also have a gold medal coming in the 2012 Olympic Games. They've won four ATP Tour Finals doubles titles. They've won a Davis Cup back in 2007. Of course, they've been a major part of the U.S. Davis Cup team for so long. As many of the singles players have shifted, the U.S. Davis Cup team has known that it can rely on the Bryan brothers to be there in doubles and to pull out a victory for them, perennially one of the top five doubles teams in the world. Bob and Mike have won the most Davis Cup matches of any team for the United States. Mike also owns the U.S. Davis Cup record with 26 individual doubles wins and 31 ties played. Mike Bryan's first Grand Slam doubles title came in the 2003 French Open, he and his brother Bob defeated Evgeny Kafilnikov and Harhuis. They lost in their first U.S. Open Finals appearance to Bjorkman and Woodbridge, another all-time great team in 2003, but were able to capture their first U.S. Open in 2005, defeating Bjorkman and Max Mirny. Another formerly top-ranked team. Most recent Grand Slam title for the Bryans together came at the 2014 U.S. Open. But of course, Mike Bryan and Jack Sock took the Wimbledon title this year. That a five-set battle, 7-5 in the fifth against Clausen and Michael Venus. Mike Ryan also with four mixed doubles grand slams. His partner that you see here, Jack Sock, just 25 years old, grew up in Kansas, was one of the few players to not only play high-level juniors but play high school tennis as well. He actually went... 80 and 0 in his high school career and the only guy to take a set off of him during his high school career was his older brother Eric. 
Eric, a fine former college player himself. Jack Saw currently ranked number 18 in the world in singles as well. He reached a career high in singles at number 8 in the world just at the end of last year. He's reached the fourth round here at the U.S. Open and at the French also. He had a disappointing showing in singles this year, but of course today has a, com a chance to compete for another Grand Slam doubles title. He won his first Grand Slam doubles title at the 2014 Championships at Wimbledon where he actually defeated the Bryan brothers alongside the big serving Canadian Vasek Pospisil. Pospisil and Sock both so young at the time, but were able to capture the title over the veteran Bryan brothers 7-5 in the fifth set. Sock also has a U.S. Open trophy on his resume. He won the 2011 mixed doubles title here at the U.S. Open alongside Melanie Uden. Sock, a former U.S. Open junior finalist. Of course, we have an exciting day on tap for you today. It's not only the doubles final, but also the men's singles semifinals. Rafa Nadal and Juan Martín Del Potro, followed by Novak Djokovic and Kay Nishikori, a star-studded lineup all day long. Today, we'll be bringing you all of their player practices live, so make sure you stay tuned with us all day long to see the players preparing for these all-important matchups to come. We are indeed watching Mike Bryan and Jack Sock. Mike Bryan, one of the greatest to ever do it on the doubles tour. Jack Sock, a two-time doubles Grand Slam champion, and also a former top 10 player in the world in singles, still just 25 years old, so much potential, such a talented player. Mike Bryan, an ageless wonder in his own right. Now 40 years old, but still playing exceptional tennis. And still regularly competing for Grand Slams, the top ranked doubles player in the world. See Jack Sock take a few serves now. Jack with one of the most powerful one-two punches on the tour. And as a massive serve and forehand as well. One of the few guys on tour to get more revolutions on the ball than Rafa Nadal on the forehand side on quite a few occasions. Sock has improved his fitness level quite a bit over the past couple of years. This is some of the fittest we've seen him while on tour. Seems to be in great shape. Sock with such great hands as well. Sound footwork. Very quick, especially closing in on the net. One of the quickest first steps transitioning into the net. He's able to close very effectively. Of course, Mike Bryan, the righty in the Bryan Brothers duo with Brother Bob, left-handed.
Mike Bryan, a former Stanford Cardinal. He helped his collegiate squad win back-to-back -back NCAA team championships, and he also won a collegiate doubles title with his brother Bob. That's just the start of 20 years' worth of titles for the Bryan brothers. Of course, they're also very talented musicians. Earlier in the tournament at the USTA Foundation Gala, we saw a performance from the Bryan Brothers Band. Let us know in the comments all your picks and predictions for the matches to come today. Not only the doubles final, but the men's singles semifinals as well. Kimberly in the comments saying looks like they are having fun. They are indeed excited for this match to come and the opportunity to be the first team since 2003 to win Wimbledon and the U.S. Open in the same year. Mike Bryan playing at his 24th straight U.S. Open. This is his first without his twin brother, Bob. As we mentioned, Bob nursing a hip injury. When Mike Bryan and Jack Sock captured their Wimbledon title, that was just their second event together as a team. They could be the first duo to win consecutive Grand Slam titles since Bob and Mike swept four straight titles from 2012 through in 2013. Mike Bryan also looking to break a tie with John Newcomb and set an all-time record with 18 Grand Slam men's doubles titles. So quite a bit of history on the line for Mike Bryan to really assert himself as the greatest doubles player ever. Mike Bryan 5-1 and one in U.S. Open doubles finals in his career. Trying to win an Open Era record six title here at the Open. This is his 100th, 180th final. He's looking to become the oldest doubles Grand Slam champion in the Open Era. 40, 40 years and four months. And as Mike Bryan heads off the court, Jack Sock will have a, some additional practice time out here on the court, making sure getting his hands ready, working on his reaction time up there in net, of course, the team of Kuban and Mello, some big hitters, so he'll have quite a few balls fired at him there as he's trying to close into the net. He saw Jack let those couple of balls go by him. That just training his eye, of course, trying to determine when to take the ball and when to let it sail out. That move there you're looking at is Jack poaching across the net. Jack so quick moving across the net. You see how he steps diagonally to the ball, cutting off the angle and deflecting it right back into the court making sure he gets his weight on his front foot. Just a very small, compact swing there. You don't see a big take back or a big follow through. Just about one racket width back and about one racket width forward on the total swing for Jack Sock. Very small movement deflecting the pace back into the court. And as Jack Sock, former top 10 singles player, current top 20 doubles player, a two-time doubles Grand Slam champion, 
takes a quick breather. We'll be back with some more coverage throughout the day, but of course, history could be made right here on this very court as Mike Bryan tries to set the record for most doubles Grand Slam titles in tennis history. Make sure you stay tuned with us all day long at noon Eastern. We'll be bringing you Rafa Nadal live from the practice course as he prepares to face off against Juan Martin Del Potro in the first men's semifinal to come later this afternoon. Del Potro will be practicing at 1 Eastern. We'll be bringing you that as well. Also, a bit later this afternoon, Kane Nishikori and Novak Djokovic will be bringing you both of their practice sessions live as they prepare to face off against each other and clinch a spot in the finals. All that and so much more on this day 12 of the U.S. Open men's semifinals and the men's and doubles championship all on the line. Tensions are rising. We'll be right back.